The bill before us is not just for the major tenant. It's a good bill for the entire state. It's a good bill for the Fairmont Cardinals, for the Rochester Century Panthers, Senator Nelson, for the Red Wing Wingers, Senator Howe, the Bemidji Lumberjacks. <laughs> it's very good for the city of Minneapolis. They are taking a risk, but they realize it, and they have stepped up to the plate. And I'd like to thank them for that. And it's good for our charities, and I think that's been addressed tonight. And that's why we are doing this also. This is a bill or an issue that's been in front of us for over three years. And it's been, an, uh, charities, uh, charitable gaming has been in the state for over 30 years, as we've said. This is not a bad, bad proposal. This is a good proposal. There's a lot of win-win in it. This gambling's a mess. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Thompson. You claim to be kind of a libertarian. Shouldn't, shouldn't people be able to do what they want to do? Absolutely they should. And if you want to start a card club with you and three of your friends in your garage and play $1,000 a hand poker, I don't care. I really don't. But I'm telling you it is an insidious relationship when the government becomes dependent upon that revenue stream. And if we pass this bill tonight and if Governor Dayton signs it into law, which we know that he will, that's exactly what we're doing. We are cementing and expanding and increasing a relationship that is ripe for corruption. When you have the regulator literally dependent on a revenue stream from the regulated, it is a recipe for graft and corruption. And we ought to be ashamed of ourselves if we do that.